This is your source for Angels news and more with Roger Lodge and the Sports Lodge on AM830 KLAA. Well, well, well. Look at what time it is. Look what day it is. It's Thursday. It's Junior Friday in the Sports Lodge, and it's right around 425. And every single Thursday for the last, let's see, I've been here now. Oh, my God. Have I been on the radio for 15 years? Is this my this is my 15th year at AM830? This is unbelievable. I have one of the longest runs of anybody in afternoon drive in Southern California. And I'm not like patting myself on the back here, but I have I been on longer than Mason in Ireland? Have I been on longer than Petros and Money? Those guys have been on for a long time. I know that, and they're awesome. They're all great at what they do. But I think when you talk about a streak, and my, I hope I'm not jinxing it because I'm on a, a string of one-day contracts here. I hope I come back tomorrow. I'll find out in about five minutes. But uh, I've been here 15 years, and every single Thursday, this man has jumped on the radio with me. We've talked about the ticket industry, and then he always ends with one big, giant high five at the end of our conversation by giving away something amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, without further ado, from our proud sponsor, 714 Tickets, 714 Tickets, here he is, Ron Holt. Ron, how are you, sir? I'm doing great. It's a little rough morning with the news today, but all is well, Roger. It's a great day in Southern California. Move onward and upward. We're still going to marvel at Shohei the hitter. Hopefully Mike Trout will be back at some point before the regular season ends. I'm trying to stay as positive as possible. Hey, Ron, right now in Southern California, people are calling your office for what ticket the most right now? Right now it's for this weekend, SoFi, Metallica, La Paramore, uh, Saturday and Sunday, or Friday and Sunday. Out of Metallica's playing two days. Um, it's going to be a great show. Sold out both days. But, of course, 714 tickets has any ticket you'd like in that venue. If someone wants to go watch Metallica and sit in a suite or they want to sit and just get in, they just want to get a glimpse of them from anywhere in the stadium, do you have, do you have tickets for all different folks and all different ticket prices, Ron? Yeah, we carry a large variety of inventory. Like, if you want to go to Metallica this weekend, to get in the door is about $125 per, uh, per ticket per night. I have uh, some 12-person suites. You're looking at about 7500 to 15000 each, depending on how low you want to be in a suite. And those are really nice, exclusive entrance into the venue. You get that uh, waitress and food service inside your suite. You have a catered, they have bathrooms inside the suite. So um, it's a great way to go, great viewing. I sat in one of them for the Taylor Swift show a couple weeks ago, and I absolutely loved it. Look at you, sitting in a suite for Taylor Swift. How great was that show, Ron? It was incredible. We've talked about it, right, Roger? Three three hours, 45 minutes, 44 songs. I mean, she she left it all out there. It's amazing what she can do. You know, six out of seven nights she's performing, one day off between three shows. Uh, it's something else. And, and Metallica is going to put that type of show on this weekend. They're going to play, um, you know, full sets both nights. I hear they're playing their uh, new music for the first night and all old music the second night. So it'll be really good out there. Hey, Ron, I wanted to ask you about this. Uh, last week, I went to pick up, maybe it was like 10 days ago, two weeks ago, I went to pick up my daughter, Allie, at the Drake concert at the Forum. And to get there, you have to drive by the Intuit Arena that Steve Ballmer is building for the Clippers. That place is absolutely spectacular. It's gigantic. It's going to just be a whole neighborhood of NBA basketball with restaurants and an arena and just all kinds of great things there. What does that do for ticket sales early on when you build a brand new spanking arena like the Clippers are doing in downtown Inglewood? Yeah, it's always a big thing, right? So, um, you know, Staples Center opened many, many years ago. When the Staples Center opened up, that was a big event. You know, you had stuff in Golden State when they moved to their new arena up at Chase. Uh, that was a big event. But Southern California is nothing like Southern California. So, you know, the Clippers move into a brand new arena that's going to be state of the art. You know, Balmer obviously knows technology. So that's going to be filled with all the bells and whistles for the modern era. Um, I think it's going to be great. I mean, you. 
the Clipper fans are great fans. They're not big spenders as of yet. Um, they got to win a championship to you know kind of take the next step in, in the NBA you know facade out there. But the real thing is, is a new venue. They're gonna have concerts in there. It's gonna be you know it's a place to go see. You saw what happened with SoFi. I mean, talk about a stadium that's opening up. SoFi has you know they call it the eighth one of the world. It's state of the art. It's fantastic. I don't expect anything less by Steve Ballmer in the Intuit Arena. Hey, Ron, what's sexier and sells more tickets? Having a big three like, you know, the Clippers with, um, you know, Paul George and uh, Kawhi Leonard and Russell Westbrook, or is it simply winning? Does winning sell tickets more? Even though who's on the team, you can have huge success. And if you're winning, you know, any kind of event, football, baseball, basketball, soccer, anything, the fans are going to come out and support. That's what your fans for. for. Um, you love the players, but ultimately you want to win championships. Wow, that's amazing. Hey, Ron, in the television and radio business that I work in every single day, the top three markets are Chicago, number three, L.A.'s number two, and New York is number one. Is there a top three ticket industry market? Top three industry market? Like what brings us the most revenue? Like, Yeah. Is that what you're asking me? Yes. Okay, yeah, so... For us, it's probably Major League Baseball since we have such a large inventory of Major League Baseball, but we do really well with the NBA. But the concert events, you know, that's a great great thing for our business because concerts as a whole, you have a new event happening every day. You know, sports are cyclical six months at a time. They overlap. Um, so our bread and butter is sports for sure, and MLB by far. But concerts as a whole is a great revenue stream for any ticket reseller. He is Ron Holt, 714 Tickets. Call today. You can go tonight. They're online at 714tickets.com. Any ticket, anytime, anywhere, 714 Tickets. Call today. You can go tonight. All right, Ron, let's keep our streak alive. What are we giving away today? I got something right up your alley, Roger. It's Lost 80s this Saturday night at the Honda Center. That's with Belinda Belinda Carlisle from the Go-Go's. You got Stacey, uh, Stacey Q, Animation, Trans X. You got the general public, missing persons. And like I said, Belinda Carlisle is headlining that show. So it's going to be a great event this weekend, Honda Center, Saturday night. We'll give a family four pack away for that. Will Belinda Carlisle be doing all the Go Go's hits? I'm sure that's what she's doing. Some of her solo stuff, too, right, Roger? It's lost 80, so I'm sure she's going to pull out all kinds of stuff. It's going to be a great night. Oh, my God. Will the Bengals be there singing Manic Monday? And walk like an Egyptian? No bangle. No, not like an Egyptian, but the Untouchables will be there in musical youth. So you have to pull out your old records and see where what they look like on that backside. Musical youth past the Dolce from the left-hand side. That song? You got it. See, I knew you knew that stuff. <laughs> oh, my God. That Wait a minute. So what, what, are you, what are you giving us today? What are you giving away? A family four-pack for Lost 80s with a headliner, Belinda Carlisle, Honda Center, this Saturday night. This is fantastic. I'm going to hit you up for tickets to that because that's a show I think my Pamela would love to go see, Ron. You are awesome. I thank you again, and thanks so much for all you do, Ron. Love it. Thank you very much, Roger. Have a great show. Thank you. Ron Holt, 714 Tickets. Call today. You can go tonight. They're online at 714tickets.com. Musical Youth? Come on, you guys remember that song. Alejandro, I'll pay you $1,000 if you go out to break with Pass the Dolce from the left-hand side, played by uh, Musical Youth back in the day, in the 80s. Oh, my God, a great song. And they're going to be at Honda Center this weekend. Count me in. Hey, Trent, you in? 80s show, Honda Center, Mike Tree. Come on, man. Me, me, you, and the wives. We're in. Let's go. Uh, sounds great. I'd love to get to learn about new music I didn't know about before. I would very much uh, enjoy that. <laughs> you see, you snot-nosed little punks who say, oh, I, wasn't e- I wasn't even born when this song came out. I, I know where you're going here. Hey, Trent, I want to ask you a